this example, we're going to set up link aggregation on a Synology DS1515+. Plus. The reason why I want to do that is because I want to back up my Synology directly to my QNAP because I'm upgrading to QNAP. My QNAP has a built-in 10G connection and the DS1515 Plus has four LAN ports. Well, what link aggregation does is that it can combine all four LAN ports together to get a 4G connection to increase the throughput. For this to work, you need a switch that's a smart switch that's capable of link aggregation. In this case, I have a GS110 EMX. It's an eight port gigabit ethernet smart switch. And when you log in, go over to You'll have this go from management, switch over to lag, go to membership, select the ports that you're going to use. In this case, it's going to be five, six, seven, eight, and have a lag, I, lag ID of one and the lag name channel one. Click on apply, go to lag configuration, go to lag configuration, click channel one, and then we'll Go ahead and enable it. You can see that 5678 is enabled. Over in configuration, I'll leave that as default. And port configuration, I'll leave that as default as well. In the Synology, one thing you have to do is make sure that you're already logged into the Synology because what happened was I restarted and I got different IP addresses. Go ahead and make sure that you're already connected with one IP address. And in this case, my IP address was 150 and I have that reserved. You go over here and create a bond. And in this case, we'll do the dynamic link aggregation. This is the one where it puts all four of them together. Click on next. Physical devices. Interesting. How come I don't see them anymore. Let's refresh this. I wonder if by setting this, it broke my connection. And I think it did. I wonder if I have to do this in reverse. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's go back over here to membership. Let's remove these. Apply. Oops, click over here and click disable, apply. Okay, now I'm back in, go to network, network interface. Let's create a bond. Go ahead and select these four, click on next. Get network connect configuration automatically. Let's do this. Use the manual because I was using this before. Okay. And click on apply services on each bonded interface. For example, firewall rule and DHCP server settings will be disabled once bond is created. Do you want to proceed? And let's go ahead and click on yes. And what I've done is that I've gone over to my router, which is the disk station. I disabled the reserved IP address. Now that's it's applying the network settings. What I'll do is go back over here to my Netgear, click on enable and apply. It looks like it connected. We've got the default gateway bond one network interface bond one is connected. Land one two, three, and four are at each 1000 megabits per second. And let's switch over here and refresh this. And you can see that the status is up. Yeah, I want to do a disk test on this. Oh, I can't because my Mac doesn't have 10 gigabit per second. All right, so on the left, on the bottom, you can see the resource monitor 
It's doing an rsync from my Synology. It's backing up over to my QNAP. It's getting about 120 megabytes per second. And if we take a look at the right side with the QNAP and take a look at the resource monitor, you can also see that it's downloading at over 100 megabytes per second. So I'm not sure what's going on. It's not getting uh, four times the speed that I was hoping because the QNAP has the 10G interface and the Synology has the four one gigabit per second ports all lagged together, hopefully to get four times the bandwidth. But as you can see, that's not the case. Just wanted to show you that this is the maximum bandwidth I'm getting out of this particular setup. If anybody has any suggestions, please put them in the comments below on how to improve the speed of a copy, rsync copy from the Synology over to the QNAP. This concludes the configuration of the setup of the Netgear GS110 EMX 8 port gigabit Ethernet smart managed switch with the Synology 1515 Plus getting it set up to transfer files from my Synology to my QNAP over the QNAP 10 gigabit interface. If this was helpful for you, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.